What do you get when city, county, and state police join forces to stop crime? Operation Safe Streets. I had the opportunity to sit with Mayor Przicki and President Shabazz to discuss their sentiments in regards to the crime that's taking place in our city neighborhoods. Well, in the first, uh, I think uh, I was here four days and we had, we had three homicides in the first four days. Uh, within the week, we had the uh, fourth, and then here we are, we're two and a half weeks out and we've had six. And we've had a number of very serious shootings as well. So um, I can't explain it. I don't think the chief can explain it. Uh, they don't seem to be related, but it seems to be, there seems to be uh, some toxic mix that has people going out and feeling that they can settle their grievances with a firearm. And it's, uh, it's impacting too many neighborhoods. It's uh, impacting morale in the city. It's impacting our business climate, and we're not going to put up with it. I authorized additional overtime to get more officers out on the streets. Uh, after that, we continued to have a homicide and, and consecutive acts of violence uh, in places that we normally don't see it. And so I just, I'm not going to sit around and wait to see how bad this gets before I do something. I contacted the governor, who's been extraordinarily supportive, uh, our attorney general, U.S. attorney, and the county executive. And I said, here's what I'd like to do. I need to know if, if you all are going to be supportive. And every single one lined up and said, whatever it's going to take, we're going to do. And so we've had subsequent meetings of all the, uh, of the chiefs and of uh, their appointees at, to gather together and put together a strategy to deal with this. And what they came up with is essentially a joint effort uh, to get more police officers on the street using, using um, uh, the various, the, each of the department's own technical assistance uh, personnel to try to make the very best strategic decisions we, we can make. Our police, uh, our police officers have their own uh, uh, tactical uh, a unit, but we think that we ought to take advantage of some of the others who have a point of view that we think might be very helpful to us, and so that's what we've done. I'd like to thank the mayor for including city council and that we are 100% behind his initiative. Um, I felt it was important that not only did we come with the strong law enforcement, but there was a just as a strong community engagement and, and other youth positive development programs that were included in the initiative. And I'm so, so thankful that that's the step that we're going to take. Remember, we all play important roles in keeping Wilmington safer. I'm Yusini Tavares with WITN22, here inviting you to continue to follow us as we cover the news that's taking place within your city. This is the new Wilmington, the new WITN22.